It is not often that one finds themselves in a moment where their research is so perfectly validated. For the first time in my career, I feel as though the university is going to be pleased with my findings. Entry number 001, Kieski here. I'm quite surprised, really. My discovery of this site was almost entirely by accident. The pioneering explorer Dr. Roger Kieski left few clues behind after his sudden disappearance. After months of careful plotting, I narrowed down his possible location to certain geographical areas of this planet. The back wall houses a series of coloured windows whose light falls to illuminate a plinth. The plinth and surrounding structure seem remarkably well preserved given its age. That said, I wouldn't want to jump around too much. Six small rooms line the space, partitioned by curtains of some foreign material. Each room contains tables, beds, and coming from the wall of each, pipes. Dispensers, maybe? It puts me in mind of hospital rooms with those stupid curtains you can never quite get fully closed. One of Kieski's final transmissions spoke of a sort of ancient clinic, a medical building. If it was, indeed, this place, I can see how he'd draw that conclusion. The back wall is dominated by a strange carving of a tree. Its roots spread back along the length of the hall. I've seen this symbol before, but only ever as what we assumed was decoration appearing at the latter end of the ancient's timeline. But to see it on such a scale, so prominently featured, leads me to think of it as being something else, more important. <sighs> Entry number 002, my greatest discovery to date, a second level. At some point it appears the ground decided to give way beneath me. As it turns out, I did not need to jump for the floor to collapse. One of the rooms contains a hole where the floor has given way. It suggests there is another level right below my feet. My leg is definitely broken. This structure has to be medical. I can see equipment. Machinery. If I could just get a better look at the... Ah, ah, ah! No moving then. Good. This room, it's not half as inviting as the space above. It seems industrial. And the air down here is thick. Sweet and yet cold. In the center of the room is some kind of machine. Too intricate for simple function. Night comes quickly here. Thankfully, the greenhouse structure emits a dull glow, but something else caught my eye. A small vial among the rubble, filled with the most exquisite green liquid. I don't understand the purpose of this green liquid. This is unlike anything encountered before. Is it a medicine, as Kieski's clinic theory would have me believe? Weak. Qu quite thirsty. Never thought I'd find a green alien. <laughs> it could be bile, for all I know. Look particularly appetizing. Landmark here, discovery. Eh? I have found material evidence of Dr. Roger Kieski. A drive of his notes and findings. Kieski fell and injured himself. It, it seems, in a fit of dehydration, he decided to drink the contents of one of these vials. It was gluggy going down. It coated my throat. And it had a warmth to it, like alcohol, but all over the body. He must have been sure of his theory. Tingly. I think my leg is getting better. After that episode, his entries become confusing, erratic. It all makes sense now. I understand what it means. Kieski rambles about togetherness and being connected to something. I understand what the ancients were trying to do. He speaks as though he is having some kind of spiritual experience. What they did do. But if these are mere ramblings of a man close to death, then where is he? Soon I will be with them. I shall depart from this place. Nobody is quite sure what happened to the ancients. There are theories about war, famine, disease, but none seem compatible with a civilization so advanced, so harmonious. Where my spirit goes, my body shall follow. I can sense it limping behind me. Is what Kieski is experiencing what happened to the ancients? Is this place a temple where they sought actual transcendence? Is such a thing even possible? I feel myself being consumed. I feel myself. If that were true, then this place is the answer. Only somebody experiencing this could ever understand. The vial sits heavy in my hand. I cannot quantify. I am beyond thought and words. This little thing. 
the only clue to where the ancients have gone. And perhaps Kieski with them. I wonder. I wonder. <laughs>